why John Summit isn't mad that Charlie XCX and Dua Lipa ghosted him. I don't want to be like Coldplay doing massive stadium tours the DJ producer tells you. I've already gone as big as I want to be. After shooting his shot on social media multiple times John Summit has given up on the idea of collaborating with Charlie XCX Dua Lipa or any other famous singer. No they ghosted me the electronic DJ and producer tells Entertainment Weekly with his trademark brutal honesty. I tweeted it as a joke or whatever and so I don't think they really take me seriously at all. But Summit real name, John Schuster isn't mad about it. In fact he's taken away an important lesson from his failed attempts on Twitter. I realized I don't actually even want to collab with any big artists he says. I've never really done it before and I don't think that's my thing. I love working with newer or lesser heard talent because they're super hungry. Our schedules are so crazy when could me and Charlie even get in the studio together. The Chicago native now lives in Miami that is when he's not jet setting around the globe with a tour itinerary that would make anyone's head spin. He jokes he's in the future right now during our Zoom call because he's just landed in New Zealand after traveling for 20 hours immediately after playing a show in Bali the day before. The chaotic schedule doesn't phase him you've got to be built a little different for sure he says with a smile but it does make linking up with people a little difficult. That's why his debut record Comfort in Chaos features all London-based collaborators who aren't currently making headlines on their own international tours. I did basically all the songwriter for the album in London last November so it's all friends of friends who have been working together on music for years at this point he says. I do pretty much everything with friends who've been together since day one. I'm keeping those people close because then everything's real. But if he admits his pitches to major pop stars weren't very successful he does think the tweets were funny. Going for laughs has never been Summit's goal he just can't escape it. He loves that he's forever a meme after hoarsely booming into a mic mitts at Miami how the f we feelin' baby. And he knows that any small interaction with fans has the potential to go viral like when he was too hungover in an airport to pose for some photos. But he's also aware how he's evolved since his career began in 2020 with his breakthrough track Deep End and subsequent single Sun came up with Sophie Tucker and Human. My brand a couple years ago was My Life is a Bender and I was partying every single night playing like 220 shows in one year and that doesn't even count the after parties Summit says. Now I'm not doing as many shows. I'm spending more time on my art doing albums instead of singles. I'm slowly growing more as an artist from just being that DJ who started in college bars 10 years ago to doing three nights at the Kia Forum this year. Turning 30 years old in July represented a major shift for Summit but not in the traditional sense. I feel like this is when everyone is getting hitched and you're like oh s I've got to figure out my life he says. That hasn't hit me yet. I realized I'm super happy where I'm at. He means his career because he actually doesn't want to keep growing as a performer anymore. I don't want to be like Coldplay doing massive stadium tours he says. That's not what excites me. I've already gone as big as I want to be. Releasing Comfort in Chaos was scary because he knew the music was different from what his fans were expecting after his meteoric rise as a festival act. I was putting out the big festival tracks and the tracks you listen to at a club he says but I made more introspective music and music that people can listen to at home and on a rainy day. It's a side that was always there the man behind the persona who summit is in the quieter moments when he's alone rather than on stage in front of massive crowds. Comfort in chaos represents this dichotomy and the emotional highs and lows that come with it combining moody powerful tracks like tears and give me anything with heavy bangers like eat the bass. He felt vulnerable presenting a sound that was a lot closer to John Schuster than John Summit but to his surprise people have liked it even more.